Now, meet all this Violet Skyboard joining us, you know, and Violet, as we are really now into the Christmas week here, a lot of travel going on, so the weather becomes even more important. Yes, definitely, and we're lucky that this week we're going to see mostly quiet weather. There's just a few weak weather systems that could bring some light snow to central New York, but really nothing big for travel concerns. Even outside right now, if you are traveling, we're seeing nice dry conditions out here on the weather deck. And as we take a live look from our triple Doppler radar, sponsored by Falso Service Experts, we're dry all across the state if you are driving anywhere through New York State. We are going to be tracking a cold front that heads through tonight that will bring some light snow overnight up until tomorrow morning. But again, really just a general trace to an inch is all that we're expecting out of this weather system. Then once that heads out of the way tomorrow, we're going to get some nice high pressure that builds in, bringing drier air and more breaks of sunshine going towards tomorrow afternoon. Looking towards the middle of the week, we'll get another weather system that brings some scattered light snow showers, but really just a general light accumulation is expected. As we check out your snowfall forecast for the next seven days, again, scattered snow showers on Wednesday that I was just talking about. Those taper off into early Thursday, but then we'll get another weather system Thursday night and into Friday morning that can bring another round of some light snow to the region. So in general through this week, we'll just get around a trace to a couple of inches, mainly in the higher elevations. Looking ahead to the weekend now, we're going to have a wintry mix arrive on Saturday that can bring a decent amount of snowfall accumulation for the North Country. For Syracuse and areas further south, really not going to see any more snow. For this week though, starting tonight through Friday, all of those weak weather systems combined, really not going to get a lot of snowfall. A trace to an inch for most areas. It's just the higher elevation south of Syracuse and the Tug Hill and Adirondacks, which is where we could see one to three inches again by Friday. So that's really all we're expecting to see. And then looking ahead to Christmas, if you're wondering whether we're going to see a white Christmas or not. Well, when that wintry mix looks to arrive on Saturday, our temperatures are going to jump up to 40 degrees on Friday, 44 on Saturday. That warm weather and the rain expected in Syracuse is going to melt the snow that we'll get this week and for the southern tier as well. It's just the north country that will see snow on Saturday, and that's pretty much the only place that it's going to stick, at least for the forecast right now. Outside, we are seeing temperatures in the lower 30s with partly clear skies, quiet weather for traveling this evening and tonight. Then as we go in the overnight hours, about 2 a.m. and into the morning, that's when we'll get around to some light snow that tapers off through the morning hours. Some drier air works its way in. Highs will reach 37 degrees with partly sunny skies in the afternoon. A check of your seven day forecast. Then our next snowmaker arrives Wednesday with scattered light snow showers through the day. Those end early Thursday morning with dry weather Thursday afternoon. And then looking ahead to the weekend, a wintry mix on Saturday with just some lake effect snow showers on Sunday. Now let's take a live look from our Stanley Law Skywatch Regency Tower camera. Quiet weather for this evening. Just make sure you dress warm and keep those winter layers handy through this week as we stay chilly. Back inside.